Hey guys, uh, today I'll be doing a review of my upgraded and modified JG Bar 10. Now I'm going to be talking about some of the uh, external and internal upgrades that I've done to this gun. Um, first off, I have put a M130 spring in it. Um, it's not the most powerful, but if I go above that, it, I'll have to probably um, upgrade my sears my, and my other parts of the gun. Um, so I didn't do that. <clears throat> and um, I put a Type Bore 6.03 um, Lalax barrel in there um, just for accuracy and I put a Airsoft GI metal piston head or metal piston um, that just makes it more makes it stronger um, makes it so it doesn't break because the old one was uh, plastic it was some cheap plastic um, I also have this 3 by 9 times 40 or 38 something like that uh, scope um, that's a really good, really good scope. Um, it's good for zooming in. You can zoom in on targets, and it's really easy to uh, um, zero in. And I have put another silencer. Um, as you can see, I love silencers. They just make the gun look really cool. Um, show you a view around it. That's what it looks like. Basically the same idea as my KWA uh, and Mac 11 silencer, but I didn't put any foam in it because it doesn't really silence it because it's a Springer anyway. So um, that's one of the external upgrades that I've done. Um, I have the Harris bipod on there. It's a spring-loaded bipod. It's very good um, and it's extendable. Um, then I have this customized uh, uh, sort of butt, uh, like a cheek rest. Yeah, that's what that's what it's called. Um, I'll look around. I'll show you around that. The uh, has sorry. Um, it has bullets in there. Um, they're not. They were real ones, but they they don't have any. They're not live. And then I put this, some foam on top to, uh, uh, to, for comfort, pretty much, yeah. Um, I got this package, or this gun, with uh, two magazines. I bought it off eBay. I buy a lot of things off eBay just because of the prices. I got it for a hundred bucks. Um, it used to be black, actually, and I painted it uh, tan, which I think it looks really good, and I've gotten a lot of compliments from it. Um, there is... One thing I want to show you too, I put a little Magpul symbol on it. I think I thought that looks pretty cool, but the only thing is the this thing covers uh, covers it up. So, and that's about it. Um, I'll show you the shooting review, and then maybe the disassembly review. Review. All right, I have my 28 round magazine filled up with a uh, .28 gram BBs. Um, I use heavier BBs because I'm shooting at farther distances and I need the BB to, BB to fly straight. Um, then these are the best for them. You can use .3s too, that's fine. So um, here's me shooting. I'll be going for all the, the one all the way in the back, if you can see it. 
Hit it. Move it up. Hit it. As you can see, I hit all the targets very easily. Um, it's, a, it's from 100 feet, so that's not the maximum range of the gun, but it's still pretty accurate. And uh, and plus the the cans are very small compared to a human body size, so you're going to get good results from the uh, tight board barrel. Um, this is the other thing I was shooting at back here. Um, that was just a little bit farther out and a little bit bigger, but all right. To disassemble the gun, you'll need some Allen wrenches. Um, mainly what you do is there's two screws um, right here. If you can see them, there's one right there. And you unscrew that one. And then usually it's loose enough to just screw out with your hand. Um, then you unscrew this one, this one's a little bit tighter, alright, probably use your fingers now. Alright, now that you have those both out, um, you can pop the barrel off of the receiver and you'll have this, the uh, trigger mechanism right there. Um, if you want to take out the uh, take out the cylinder or the piston, whatever, um, you have to have like something, like a screwdriver or something to get this little notch, pop it out. I just use uh, the nut or the uh, screw. It's pretty hard. There we go. Um, I just used my Allen wrenches. Um, now that you have that out, you can pull the cylinder out. Now you have the cylinder. Now if you want to disassemble the cylinder even more, you screw the uh, nozzle off. And I did do the uh, Teflon mod, but it's starting to coming off, sort of coming off. Um, and this is the upgraded, the upgraded uh, piston. It's all metal. Pretty nice, nice orange. Um, then this is the SP150 or 130 spring, and this is the stock. Uh, what is it called? Spring guide. All right, so put it back together. To put it back together. You put this thing back in there. You line up the spring onto it. Then you put the piston in. I'll fit it. Oh, wrong side. There we go. And now you put the screw, the thing, the nozzle back on. There we go. And then what you do, this is a little bit more trickier than taking it off, but uh, you pull it, put pushes in until it stops. And then there's this little thing right here. You pull this down and the piston slides in. Um, other people do it different ways, but I do it that way. Um, now that you have this in, you put the little notch back into the stock of the uh, bar 10, and then you pop it back. Now you just screw back the screws, and you're done.